When we talk about post-quantum, we're referring to the post-quantum threat. It's estimated that within seven to 10 years, a quantum computer will be capable of breaking traditional public key cryptography, such as RSA and ECC, in use today. This essentially ends the golden age of cryptography as we know it. Although the threat might be a decade away, there's another threat that exists today, known as the Harvest Now Decrypt Later. This is what's happening when bad actors are harvesting data with the intent to decrypt it once a quantum computer is capable. Recently, there's been an uptick of agencies recognizing this threat and trying to mitigate it through regulation. So what do organizations need to do to prepare? Well, there's a few things that they should be doing today to ensure a smooth and secure transition. First, taking a data inventory, knowing what data resides within the organization and understanding the data flows. That catalog and inventory will help inform where your highest concerns are and where to start. Next, it's important to have a full inventory of cryptographic assets, from hardware and software, keys, certificates, secrets, and algorithms, and to know where they are and how they're implemented. From there, organizations need to build a cryptographic agility strategy and roadmap. Crypto agility, the ability to easily move from one algorithm to another, will be critical for the PQC transition. It's also important for organizations to identify areas of risks relating to cryptography, including processes, people, and technology. Finally, it's time to test and plan the migration. While the timelines are fuzzy, the takeaways are clear, the time to prepare for post-quantum is now.